My boyfriend. Back in New Orleans, thousands of people stopped by a local bottling plant this afternoon to pick up cans of the original Coke, now called Coke Classic. The original recipe went back on the market only two and a half months after it was ousted by New Coke. Tom Foreman was on hand for the return of the real, real thing. <laughs> The new old Coke returned with all the fanfare one might expect. While a band belted out every Coke advertising jingle you could remember, workers handed out the cold classics as fast as they could. At five cents a can, it seemed every classic Coke lover for miles around wanted in on the deal. One lady reportedly showed up five hours early to wait for that first cold sip. Oh, yes. I stopped drinking. I don't like the new Coke. I stopped drinking Coke altogether. Well, it was on the way home, and it's only 10 cents. <laughs> I used it to the old Coke. I don't like the new Coke. Not very much, you know. Within the first hour and a half, 13,000 cans of classic Coke had been sold, and still the thirsty people kept coming. Although there was a two-can limit, more than one person figured a way to get around the system. Now, new Coke will stay on the shelves. As one Coca-Cola official put it, it will be the flagship of the Coca-Cola company. But for some people, Coca-Cola Classic will be the only real thing. And in the long run, it may turn out that all of this is a history lesson on free enterprise, a case to remember long after these cases are empty. Tom Foreman, Eyewitness News, Nightwatch. And that's